The end rings in Apex are where the final stage of the game plays out, and it's where the combat's the most intense, and it's really important that you're not like in an empty field because everyone would be dead because there's no cover, or that as well, you really want to make sure that you're not in a two-level building, and I'll explain this for a second. So if you're in a two-level building and the playable area shrinks in around you, the two teams may be unable to get to each other, and then it's effectively just random who wins. And so in order to prevent that, previously the level designers would have to go and place areas where there were not allowed to be end rings, which basically meant every two level building, every two level playable space in the entire map had to have one of these things. And inevitably some were missed and it would create these bad rings and the first update to our maps after launch would always be fixing at bad end rings. And so the whole thing was just very air prone. So we looked at using NavMesh, and um, we, we actually are using NavMesh, and because NavMesh, for example, knows about the presence of vertical space. It knows about two-level buildings because we know what is playable space, and we know how much playable space is available. We can make sure that you're not like crammed into a tiny part of a cave or checking how much cover is in the area. And so this, I think, could be like its own GDC talk, so I'm not going to go too, too much more into it. But this does bring me to my next takeaway, which is that NavMesh solves all problems. Yay! OK, NavMesh doesn't solve all problems, but it's a really powerful tool. And I think that a lot of people kind of like, oh, NavMesh is for navigation, right? But NavMesh is basically just like a distilled look into your game data in a way that would be far too expensive to do any other way. And I think that that makes it really, really powerful for you as a gameplay engineer or a game designer to use in cool and interesting ways. And I would encourage thinking about it as another tool in your toolbox.